I was offered glasses for my 2035 vision 10 years ago, but declined them for lifestyle changes. Now my vision is near perfect. I don't require glasses and I'm doing whatever I can to prevent them. Why are we losing our vision to myopia? Can our visual impairments be reversed? And what are the lifestyle routines that promote optimal eye health? Well, let's get into it. <laughs> 10 years ago, I stood 20 feet away from a Snellen chart. It was my biannual eye exam. I attempted to read letters off a chart, but struggled. What the average person could see at 35 feet away, I had to be 20 feet away. At 2035 vision, the World Health Organization considers this mild vision loss. I was offered glasses to counterbalance my myopia. Myopia, or nearsightedness, is an eye disorder caused by abnormal axial length growth of the eye. The eye grows longer. This causes light to be focused in front of the retina instead of on it. Objects far away become blurrier, but objects up close remain clear. The World Health Organization considers myopia the most prevalent cause of visual impairment globally, and some study populations affecting as much as 80 to 90% of people. It is becoming a massive problem. We are losing our eyesight. Furthermore, high myopia is a risk factor for several pathologies of the eye, including retinal detachment, cataract, open angle glaucoma, and other vision threatening conditions. These are things that I'd like to avoid. Both of my parents and sisters have myopia and require glasses. My dad's is the worst and even led to retinal detachment and a separate time of complete loss of vision for a brief period. It was pretty scary. Worse, eye doctors and popularly held beliefs tell us that this is completely normal. Myopia, poor vision, and eye health is determined by our genetics and aging. It's not our fault that our eyes are failing. But a few podcast episodes that I listened to expelled this idea. The Science of Vision by Professor Andrew Huberman and Eye Health by Dr. Peter Atia stated these beliefs as widely false. They stated that this disorder was a construct of our environment and our behaviors. I immediately dug into the research and saw exactly what they did. Myopia can be caused by both genetic and environmental factors. However, there is now evidence that genetics is only accountable for a small proportion of myopia cases, and that the increasing prevalence is predominantly caused by environmental factors. Our eyes adapt to our environment just like our muscles adapt to physical exercise. With our world becoming increasingly indoors and up close on digital screens, our eyes are adapting to that demand. They're growing longer, decreasing our ability to see objects far away. They're chronically stressed which is inhibiting their capacity to focus. And our eyes are becoming more vulnerable to many eye disorders. Your optometrist probably never told you anything about this, just like mine hasn't with me. I didn't know that it was possible to prevent or maintain or even improve eye health through environment or behaviors, but it's completely possible. There are a few key routines that we can follow to not only prevent, but reverse myopia, all while improving overall eye health. While Andrew Huberman's podcast details 13 different protocols in depth, I'm gonna focus on the three that I've found to be the most powerful. Number one, outdoor light exposure. While the reasons remain unclear, there's robust evidence that outdoor light exposure plays a strong role in preventing myopia. This has been shown in a number of studies in grade school children, but is also effective throughout life. Professor Huberman, who works in ophthalmology, recommends two hours of outdoor light exposure per day. And to optimize the outdoor light exposure, I like to get some in in the early morning, say with a walk, in the afternoon with my one hour long runs, and then again in the evening with another walk. This helps set my circadian rhythm for daytime alertness as well as evening sleepiness. Improving daytime productivity and nighttime sleep, all while improving overall eye health and vision. Two, long distance viewing. Viewing the horizon or objects out in the distance allows our eyes lens to flatten out. The muscles contracting that lens get to relax. This process counteracts our short distance viewing. Huberman recommends 20 minutes of that long distance viewing for every 90 minutes of short distance viewing per day. Lately, I've placed my focus on the horizon during my one hour long runs, as well as my walks in the morning and in the evening. So often I've found myself just staring at the ground when running or walking, and I just don't know why I need to be looking at the ground. It's mostly flat and boring, and it's just a terrific opportunity to get that long distance viewing in, as well as just getting a different perspective of the world. Three, near far vision training. It's possible to train the muscles in the eye, just like any other muscles in the body. Place your focus on your right index finger. Move that right index finger closer to your nose while not crossing your eyes. Move the finger as far away from your body as you can. 
Now look off into the distance. Repeat this process for about two minutes and perform it about three times per week. This trains accommodation of the eyes. Accommodation is the eye's ability to focus on objects at varying distances. Training this process improves the eye's ability to focus both quickly and clearly. And if you're not interested in this dedicated training, various activities like tennis or basketball can have a similar positive effect. These are the three most powerful routines I've found to prevent myopia and just to promote overall eye health. And I've been following them for a couple years now. I also want to mention that fitness, nutrition, and sleep play important roles in the process too. Physical activity, specifically cardio, may increase corodial blood flow and thickness. Nutrition with adequate amounts of vitamin A from sweet potatoes, carrots, or broccoli help provide key nutrients that the eyes need. And sleeping in a pitch black room or eliminating nighttime light exposure can play an important role too. None of these tips were ever mentioned to me growing up going to the eye doctors. I didn't know it was possible to prevent myopia, improve vision, or change your eye health based upon your environment and behaviors. But I've been following these routines for the past few years and here's what's happened. So I decided to get another eye exam 10 years later than my previous one. At all previous appointments, my eyes have been slowly getting worse with each visit. I've been offered glasses each time. I'd always refused because I didn't want my eyes to adapt to the glasses, accelerating the myopic process. Now, 10 years later, my right eye is 2020. My left eye is 2025. My vision is near perfect. My ophthalmologist said my eyes were completely healthy. No signs of macular degeneration, cataracts, glaucoma, no astigmatism, improving eyesight, and very little signs of myopia. My optimized environment and behavior improved my vision. I can see clear now than I did 10 years ago. And quick disclaimer, I have no formal training on eye health, so if you're looking to make any sort of changes, please consult with a professional as I am not one. There are also a number of websites out there that you could feel free to Google and search if you're looking to reduce your prescription on your glasses or even eliminate that prescription altogether through these similar processes. Also, it seemed a little odd to me that everybody in the waiting room for my eye appointment were on their phones. Isn't that kind of like eating a donut before going to see the dentist? So here are my final thoughts. Myopia is causing us to lose our vision, but it's not our destiny. This is an adaptation to our environments and our behaviors, more so than genetics. Luckily, a few key routines can save our sight. And if they seem like a lot of effort, they really don't have to be. Outdoor light exposure can be accomplished with walks, outdoor fitness, gardening, or even taking your laptop outside and working. Long distance viewing can be accomplished through physical activity, gazing off of a balcony, setting a cardio machine up in front of an outdoor window, or even gazing off into the distance while driving on a highway. And if you're not into near far vision training, ball sports can work too. All these routines not only support the improvement of visual acuity, but also overall eye health. I'm so happy I came across this information and I hope it's just as helpful for me as it is for you. These are my latest habits for health excellence. Thanks for stopping by, and if you're interested in more habits for health excellence, feel free to sign up for my weekly newsletter, where I include tips like these, along with the most important things that I've read, watched, or listened to within the past week, all in one short email. It usually comes out at the beginning of the week. There's a link in the description if you're interested in that. Thanks for stopping by, and I look forward to seeing you guys next week.